Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series laptop here. These models they come with an iCore 7 um, processor, some of them they come with iCore 5 or 3, but uh, this video is for 5000 series. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean it up, service it up, and repaste the CPU and the GPU if you have any GPU in here. Pretty much this applies for any 5000 series, so they open in the same way. So if your size is i4 5, doesn't matter, uh, they open the same way. All right, so let's keep this video really short and let's get into it because we have lots of stuff to cover. First thing you need is a uh, screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set because they have one of the best tool set and the material for the bits are, is an S2 class steel, which they don't go bad, they will last you a long time. So this is my preferred one. You're gonna be using Phillips number zero from this tool set. Also, you're gonna be using an opening tool. For the opening tool, I use a simple guitar pick, a metallic one, because it's really tough to bend and soft edges. First thing first, we're gonna power it off completely the laptop and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna see four screws. One right there, 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 and there. We're gonna remove all four screws. Okay. The corner ones are a little longer than the in inside ones, so keep that in mind. Once we remove the bottom screws, what you want to do, you want to put your fingernail right in here and then you just want to pull it up and the bottom cover is going to come up. To remove the cover, there's only two screws that need to be removed, but we're going to be removing everything else. All right, now you can go actually go ahead and clean up the mesh, dust mesh right here with our old toothbrush. Now down here we have the whole laptop. I already upgraded the hard drive and I should, I made a video on how to upgrade the hard drive, how to upgrade the RAM. So you can check my channel for those videos. All right, first thing first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the battery, this whole big thing right over here. The only thing that holds the battery is a four screw. So one, two, three, four screw. Go ahead and remove these four screws. Also, I noticed there is only a few of my viewers subscribe to my channel or click that like button. I really appreciate if you find my videos useful and helping you guys out. Please click that like button and Think about subscribing it really helps and motivates me to make more video and take requests from you guys all right once we remove the screws for the battery you want to pull up this flip thing right here and then the battery is going to get disconnected and you want to just pull it out this side so there's a tiny clips at the back all right next we're going to remove the hard drive by removing four screws that holds the caddy that that is holding the hard drive in place so go ahead and remove these four screws. I usually like to attach a magnet to the side of my screwdriver. So that way it's easier to pick up the screws. Or you can magnetize the screw bit, but I don't like magnetizing them sometimes because not always I want them to be magnetized. So once you remove the screws, just grab it, pull it out, and what you want to do here, there's a tiny, you want to grab yourself a tweezers, okay? And what you want to do here, you want to remove this tape over here, there's a tiny tape. Don't yank it too much because there's a cables right there, and then pull out the jack. Well, you can either disconnect the adapter too, but we do have to remove the cable from here. All right. Next, we're going to remove this bridge cable here, which is connects this board to the main board. So lift up this flap, this plastic thing, so from one side, upward 90 degrees. And then you can just slide out the ribbon cable. There's a little adhes adhesive tape, but you just yank it up slowly. Don't bend it over here. All right, once we remove most of these, all right, now we're going to re start removing a whole bunch of screws. Also, go ahead and remove the flex in this cable for the. Let me put this to one side. There. 
This cable right here is the LCD cable, so untangle it, just run it across, lift it up. You want to untangle this. Okay, now we're going to remove it by pushing this side backward, this side backward evenly. And then you want to just remove it. All right. Now let's go ahead and start removing all the screws at the bottom cover. Or before we do that, let's do the easiest one, which is the fan. Go ahead and remove the two screws for the fan. Okay. Lift up the fan. Untangle the cable. Now, I don't like pulling this cable backward because sometimes the jack is really hard. So grab the tweezers, put it right beside the jack right there and then slide it backward. So that way you don't tense the cables, you can rip the cables apart. So that way you prevent it. All right. Now we can actually start removing all the screws on the bottom cover. Go ahead, remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight screws we're gonna start removing from here. Once we remove the screws from here, so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight screws. Now we need to remove the keyboard. So flip it, open it up, put it back upside the normal position. Grab your opening tool. Mine is right over here. So what you want to do, you want to see tiny. It opening gaps right between the escape and F1, right over the F5, F10, and between delete and insert, there's one right there and one right between function and it starts right there. So what you want to do, you want to stick the guitar pick on the middle one, push it backward and stick it right there. And then put your finger right underneath so it doesn't go back down. Do the same thing here. Lift it up. And there we go. Once you remove the keyboard, just lift it up. There's a ribbon cable right there and the backlight. So what you want to do, same thing. Lift up this cover and the backlight is going to just come out the cable. For the ribbon cable, flex cable for the, LC, for the keyboard, lift it up and slide out the keyboard. And that's your keyboard right there. Now we need to disconnect the touchpad or trackpad by removing this one up, pulling this out, removing whatever this cable goes to the SD card reader. So lift it up, disconnect that one. And down here we have another whole bunch of screws. Remove all the screws that you see in here. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. The screws are the same size and height in here. All right, once we remove the screws right here, now what you want to do, you want to put it down on this LCD side. By the way, this LCD is broken. I still have to make a, another video how to replace it. What you want to do, you want to use a guitar pick and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right over here. Just like that, just about two or three millimeters. And you just want to wiggle it around. You're going to hear some clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all the way to the side, front, and the left, and the right side. I'm actually, there was a screw that I'm missing right here, right on this flex cable right here. So remove this one. Sneaky bastard. All right. Now, what you want to do, you want to just lift up, close it down and lift up the top cover remember this cable has to go through here the lcd cable has to go through here so now everything is really easy from here down here you can see the whole heat sink that comes over here there's a dust right here remove the dust particles we're going to clean it up right now so we're going to remove the four five six screw on the heat sink so this version has a cpu and has a gpu you might not have a this 
GPU, so remove the four screw on the CPU. But if you do have it, go ahead and remove it. Once you remove it, you don't want to lift it up from this side. You want to lift it up close to the GPU and lift it up from here, because otherwise you're going to bend the tubing. And there we have it. Whole bunch of the thermal paste, and these are really old thermal paste. It's dried out. So what you want to do? You want to grab yourself a working towel. I use the workshop towel. I'll leave the link again in the description. And we're going to use 100% or 95% at least isopropolic alcohol or isopropoly, whatever you want to call it. And you want to spray it right in here, soak it nicely. And you want to clean up the dye right over here and clean up the CPU. All you need to care about is the crystal dye. Make sure it's nice and clean. And start cleaning the heat sink. Use our old toothbrush to use that toothbrush and blow the air right through here with a compressed air or something to clean up the duct system. And clean up the fan too while you add it. Video crashed so I had to redo the whole thing and so now that we clean up the gpu and the cpu what are you going to do you want to run a second pass make sure there's no dust just on the die make sure there's no dust particle fingerprints on the cpu on the gpu and what you want to do you want to grab yourself a thermal paste i recommend an arctic mx4 or grizzly thermal grizzly cryonaut which is one of the top four brand and the second one would be the Arctic MX4, which is cheaper and it still has a really good performance. So apply a little drop on the GPU, on the CPU die, on both dies, tiny line. Don't worry if you put too much, nothing's gonna happen. All right, next you wanna grab the heat sink, align it straight over. Once you put it down, do not lift it up again. And you wanna put the screws for the heat sink. You want to cross and put them cross each other. So if you put one, they actually have a tiny number. It says one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter where you start as long as you do a cross stitch. So do one over there and hold it down with your finger on this end so it doesn't lift up. And do this corner. And once you have these two and you're gonna do the same thing and put the rest of the screws. All right, now we have the screws right in place. Uh, once we finished, now we gotta grab the bottom cover. We're gonna work backward. Grab the bottom cover, stick this ribbon cable right through here. Even the flex cable for the LCD has to come through here. Bring it over, align it, and then you wanna squeeze the corner, make sure you hit those clicks. The front, the sides, the middle, there's nothing in the middle. Once you have all this in, go ahead and hit this cable just on the way. Run the cable for the LCD. Just stick it right in the gaps right there. Make sure it goes all the way around. It goes right there. And put the fan right in here. Okay, put the two screws for the fan first. Swear to God, I'm gonna rip this cable. Okay. Place the jack for the fan, slide it right there and push it all the way down. Run the cable for the fan jack, fan cable. Right there. Now continue with the flex cable. Positioning it, bring it right over here. Now, you want to somehow put it right there uh, straight, evenly. And then you want to push it towards the connector evenly all the way in. Make sure it's nicely all the way in. Make sure the cable stays there. Now we can go grab this one here. That is annoying. 
and then lift up the jack slide it right underneath then she goes all the way in and then lock it right there and if it wants to move let it move now what we're going to do we're going to open it up flip it over and we're going to put the screws right here remember there's a hidden one right under this flex so put that one first before you forget it and then go ahead and put the rest All right, once you put all the screws in, go ahead and plug in the connectors all the way in and then lock it, slide it right under the jack and lock it down. You want to grab the keyboard, bring it right here in this position in an angle, grab the cable for the backlight slide it right underneath and then lock it down flex cable same thing this one has to go kind of in 45 because there's a tiny uh, bumps in the side so it must go in a 45 degree angle and then set it down so it goes all the way in it goes 45 actually this white line is evenly inside and then you want to lock it down Grab it, put the bottom corner, this uh, locks down on the palm rest, slide it there, and then just push the corners, push right there, you're gonna hit those triggers. Now you're gonna close it down, flip it over. Now, we're gonna stop putting all the screws in the one that goes underneath here. So, stop putting everything here. If you want to know the size of the screw, it says M25, 7 millimeters. It says right over here. So it's a 7 millimeter height and the threads is a 2.5. Alright, once go ahead and put the one in the corners. And these are for the inward. And these four ones are for the battery. So grab the hard drive. Bring it over and slide in the jack right in there. And then run the cable. Put the four screws for the caddy. Now go ahead and grab the battery. Make sure this end of the battery has to go right down first in 45 degree angle right there. And push it all the way in. Make sure it's nice and flush right there. And then bring it over and push it down. Then put the four screws that hold it in place. Once you have this one done, the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover, put the bottom end, the front end down first. And then this is very important. You want to grab right by the middle, bring it over. You don't want to set it down. You want to put your fingers right underneath. So you want to have this curvature to the side and then press this side down. Make sure the clips goes in there and put your palm right here. And then Hold this side up and then squeeze this side down and then bring the mid right here. Otherwise, you're going to break the clips. And the last thing would be to put in back down the last two screws. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing. I really appreciate it. And this is how you service and replace your Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.